So I've been very busy removing things and I wanted to make something um, and I've heard tawny owls in the area. That's a kind of like standard owl sound usually. The male or the female goes twit and the other one goes true. So it's not really wildlife as such but I do get a frequent visitor when I'm outside in the neighbour's cat called Billy who's very sweet. He comes and has a visit, says hello and then carries on his way which is very nice. So I've got the uh, measurements for the owl boxes. So I'm just currently at the moment cutting them to size, getting them all ready. And then I, I've got the, so I've got the chop saw for one thing for cut, cutting the angles. And then I've got my other saw now, which is great, which I got at Christmas time, which I use for ripping. So some of the boards to make it the right measurement, I needed to, to cut some of them. Uh, that's all I do, I just run it along the blade like so. Uh, regards the plans for this, all I did was uh, went on the RSPB webpage and found them, printed them off, and then just followed them. So if you if you want to make the same boxes as as I'm doing, the RSPB uh, has has them, and I'll uh, include them in the description below. So I cut them all to length so that they were correct size, and I drew a line across them or numbered them so I know which bit knew which bit went with which. So all I'm doing now is using, I used a jig and put drilled holes in, lined them up and then basically a bit of glue, a bit of dowel in between just to give a bit of strength and then just sticking them together. That way I've got large enough plant, with really large enough planks to make the box. If it was just a bird box, it wouldn't be a problem, but we're doing an owl box now, so it's substantially bigger. And rather than buying larger sheets of wood, this is the most effective way of doing it. So as you can see, all I do is hammer them in place and then I use um, a clamp just to hold it, not, not for long, it doesn't need to be for long, just to hold it for a little while, just so it, so it all held together and set. Some bits still needed a bit of trimming. Uh, so the first box I made was one which goes like a normal bird box on the, on the side of the tree. But I, just, I wasn't sure which one to do, so I decided to do both. And this one I'm making goes underneath a branch so it sort of hangs under the branch so it, it's a horse chestnut tree that it's going to go in so it's quite a substantial tree so i figured i'll put both i don't expect both to be lived in but gives them the choice and it'll be interesting to see i mean fingers crossed we get something living in it soon and it's an owl um but by having both we'll see what happens and see what the preference is so this is where i'm using a jig so you just line up the jig and the main thing is that you do it the same each place. And all being well, when you go to connect them, they will fit. And in fairness, it's not done bad. All I did with, so I'd hold them together with a, with a clamp and then I'd draw a line across. So make sure the line was going straight across. You just use the, uh, the saw uh, or an angle, angle measurer. Drew the, drew the line right angle across and then I was able to put the holes and Generally speaking, it went very smoothly. They all lined up nice uh, and then just hammered them into place. I broke a few dowels when doing it, which is quite frustrating. But initially I was like, oh no, I've, I've filled the hole. But I just, you just drill the dowel out. So it wasn't a problem at all. And I obviously wanted to make, make sure it's strong. And this wood that I've actually got is pre-treated. So it should um, last for years because it's tantalized. So um, it should do the job really well. Uh, so all of the pieces are assembled now. The jigsaw puzzle is complete and just ready to be put together. So you can see it's glued, great. And this is where, so like this is the front piece. And all I did was right front across it, which then you, I just need to line them up to make sure they're the right pieces. Um, I still need to put a hatch in, which I'll do in a little bit. Anyway, um, it's generally advisable to drill a hole first to stop the wood from splitting. But I'm going to gamble and go for it and see if it'll work. Oh, a bit fresh today. Right, so, yeah, so the wood, I think, I think basically the wood's quite loose grain, something like that. So it, it doesn't split, which is good. I'm, so, I'm going to do three screws I reckon. And again it's just it's 
It's an owl box, so it doesn't need to be perfect. You know, owls live in trees normally. So, they, so it hasn't got to be... As long as it's okay. So, that's the front. That's the back. It's one, it's one of those things that's always good to label because when you're making things, I mean, I think we're all guilty of it where you think, this will be fine, yeah, I'll remember, I'll remember, of course I'll remember. And then when you come to it, you look at it, you're like, I can't remember. And I've done that many a time. So again, I'm just going to line this up. I mean, it's quite substantial. I've got to get this in the tree somehow. That's going to be interesting. Right. right, so I've got to uh, put a side hatch in. So I kind of forgot this. I'm going to do it now. I'm not sure exactly how yet. So this is the box. That's fine. That's looking good. So I'm going to put the side hatch in. I'm going to do it at the bottom. I mean, that fits. That's a good start. So yeah, the reason for the side hatch is because when it's in up there, up in the tree, hopefully it's fine, but uh, it's worth checking every so often to make sure everything's okay. Not when it's being lived in. Definitely not when there's any eggs or, or hatchlings or anything like that. But come winter, if it's been lived in, it's worth taking down completely because uh, you don't want there to be a build-up of, of parasites and stuff like that. So um, one example where I had, there was a, I had a blue tit box at the back of the house and there were some blue tits in it. it was great, and I was very pleased, great, coming and going. Anyway, uh, come winter, I decided, I, I decided to take it down because... Um, well, it's, it's, I was going to take it down, clean it, ready for next year. And when I took it down, unfortunately, there were two, two dead chicks in there. So I don't know what had happened to the mom or anything like that, the mom and dad. But yeah, there were two dead chicks. So it needed to be cleaned out. So having an inspection hatch basically means I can have a little peek in winter. Has it been lived in? If so, great. I'll bring it down, give it a clean, put it back up ready for the next year. If not, then... Um, I'll leave it, but by having an inspection hatch, it saves a lot more, a lot of time. So, I don't think it really matters how, how, um, where it goes. I reckon about there. Yeah, so I'm going to cut there, uh, glasses, cut there, and all I'm going to do is put a hinge on it. I could just screw it in place. Now, I'm going to put a hinge. And then all I'll do is put one screw at the bottom. All right. So it always feels quite sad when um, when you've made a nice piece of wood and then you have to like take it apart. Uh, so yeah, I'm thinking two little hinges. Let's see what I can find. So I've found some old hinges. They're not great, but they will do the job. And again, it's a bird box. Well, an owl box. It's an owl box. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, so I'm going to... Yeah, ideally, something like a piano uh, hinge, which is like a long, thin one, would be better. But this will do. So I'm going to put the other one in place. And then... That should fit, which is... Good. Yeah, that fits. Let me screws. So I'm going to put that in place, and then I'll be able to see where we're at with the bottom one. Because I might have to trim a bit off to... Because the hinge will make it fatter, so put this in first, and then we'll see where we're at. I could have glued it as well, but it should be fine, I reckon. So I put three in already, but they're going in well. I want to, I certainly don't want it falling apart. And again, it doesn't matter if it's a bit drafty. 
it's still going to be better than just sitting in a tree. I mean, I suppose if you think about it, owls, they're generally going like hollowed out trees, things like that. So this is just recreating it that. Right, so that, so I think it's going to hang like that in the tree. Now I want to put, I want to put this hinge in, so it's going to sit in like that. And I'm going to do it, so it needs trimming a bit because it won't, just needs trimming a bit just to allow for the hinge. So I'm going to cut a real, just a real slither off there. Not much at all. And again, just make sure I'm cutting the right bit. Alright, so... That side, I'm going to cut that side just because it's a bit damaged. Now normally I'd use like a little stick thing to push it on, but because I'm not going anywhere near that, I don't need to. Alright. So, hopefully I've not cut too much. All right, that's fine. Yeah, no, no, that'd be good, that'd be good. All right. So, I'm thinking, it's always my, many times I've put hinges on wrong and then be like, I've done that wrong. Right, so, I'm just going to go there. I want that like that. So, it's going to go sit like that. So yes, okay. Alright. So if you don't do the hinge right, then it'll not... It won't work. So I'm going to do... I'm going to do one first. And then check it. There's nothing more annoying. Well, I'm sure there's more things annoying, but it's very frustrating when... You put it all in situ, and then you... And then it comes down to it and you're like, I've done it wrong. Alright, so it's gonna go it's gonna go in there. It's still quite tight. Right, I'll put these on and then we'll see. I can always shave a bit more off. Better to do a little bit and maybe some more than too much. And again I wanna make sure hinges match up right so let's see so I've got the hinges on that's great they're gonna shut I'll so you know, well, that's probably about right, actually. There's a bit of a gap there, but that's okay. I expected that. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for that. It's okay. It's better. I don't want it to be too drafty for our owl. All right, I'm going to put one screw in, and let's see if it fits. Right. Let's see. Ah, look at that. Right, so there's a reasonable gap there, but I'm going to put a screw in there that'll pull it tighter. That's fine. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Right, let's get all this in then. Right, so that is a hatch. And I'm just going to put one big screw through. That's fine. Perfect. Right, so that is Prince for the box. I'm going to get a little doorknob for that, and then I need to do a bottom piece. All right. Uh, okay, so I'm just getting the bottom on. There's my screws. There's my screws. So I obviously can't screw on the that side because it will go into the door.
And there, ah, it's your round box. So I'm just gonna do, I had an idea, that's what I'm gonna do. So I'll put that screw in there, but I'm gonna change that. I'm gonna use these two. One, because I can see them. And then two, these will act in the future as um, little levers to use to, to open it. So let's see if that works. So here we go. So there we go, little little doorway there, just to check everything's hunky dory. Right, I think it was pretty much done. I'm gonna uh, put a few more screws in, but that's this one done, and then uh, get on to the next one. So I've made the first box, that's gonna hang under a branch. This is the one which is gonna go on the trunk. Uh, so I've sort of like held it, positioned it together. I still need to do a few alterations. So this, like I say, this goes on the trunk. So it's much more your kind of like standard image of a of a um, bird box, owl box type thing. All right, so I've done that. I'm going to not do the other side. However, flip it over. Now this back, I don't think it really matters. Where it lines up, all it is is like you'd line this up so that's how you're gonna fix it to the tree. Alright. Alright, good, good. Making good progress. Okay, now that's too big. Alright, excellent. So that is gonna be like that so i need to well, i need to do an inspection hatch again so i reckon that there same as last time really and same again uh, where's my glasses there we go it needs to be that big all right Right, that'll be big enough. <laughs> right, there we go. So, it's actually kind of feels easier this one. Maybe it's just because I've already made the other one. I'm ex experienced now. Right, very good. So put that out the side, flip it over. Put some screws in. Very good. So I mean it's gonna be interesting putting this in the tree. I keep I keep half looking at the tree and thinking, oh you look a bit big. In fact, I'm going to, before I put it in the tree, well, I want to get an idea of what sort of height to put it in at, but it, fate may be dictated by the, uh, well, how much I can climb the tree, height of my ladder, and um, the branches of the tree. Right, very good. So that's looking pretty good, that. I'm pleased with that. So that's going to be it. I'm going to go for it with this. I feel confident. So I'm just going to do them. I will still check just in case. Just a little check. Just a little check. All right, so that's like that. That's going to open. How so? Perfect.
Ta-da! Very good. Very pleased with that. And it will just fit. I'm going to do one on both sides. So it's like extra. So this will be like the handle to open it. I really, really hope we get an owl. I really, really like an owl. I've seen them, I've heard them. And as soon as I saw that tree, I thought I'm going to put an owl box in there. If we got one living there, it's such a, it's such a great feeling when you've made something and it gets used. So we are happy with your creation. But it's no guarantee. All right, I'm only going to put one screw in that side and that side. But that, that's it. So just put the bottom on, otherwise it won't be a very, uh, it won't be a very comfortable house. Then I'm going to use this. This is just a bit of our old um, sycamore. It's growing in a wall. So I've cut that off. I'm going to use that for the, uh, to sit on. And I think, I mean, that'd be brilliant. So the image, you got me the owl house, the branch to the side and the owl sat on it. And if that happens, I'll be very happy. Right, so let's fit the bottom. Nearly done. Kind of essential. And again, I must remember that we've got the door. So I don't want to upset. So don't screw into the door. Who will nearly split then? I think we'll get away with it. Check inside. Good, no nail sticking in there. Right. So the last bit, a bit of sycamore trunk, um, which is going to be the perch. So. So I'm, uh, I saw on the picture it had a thing, but I thought, actually this works really well. Rounded edge. Take out. This will work a treat. And it's even got a nice little curve there. If I was an owl, I would have to be sick on this branch. is complete. This one to go under the tree, under the branch like that, and then this one to go up in the tree. So this one's going to be sheltered by the branch. So this one might be okay, but I've got a lot of old fire holes. I've cut off a little section. All I'm going to do is just stick it on like that. It will just provide a barrier, which um, probably doesn't need, but certainly won't do any harm. Just going to have it over it, slightly lip over at the front. All I did was cut it with a um, Stanley knife. I think it's pretty good, pretty small.
and that will be it. You know what, I'm not going to put one in the middle because it will all fall out. What do you reckon? I think that looks pretty smart. So, um, it's been quite a long one this one. Things being made always take longer. And it's starting to get dark. Uh, so, I'm not going to put it in the tree today. That's going to be, that can be the next episode. And also how, fingers crossed, it's going to be all super smooth going in the tree. In, however, we'll see. So, uh, yeah, please uh, comment, like, subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And uh, hope you join me for putting it into the tree. Fingers crossed. Your wild boxes. What do you reckon? <laughs>